Chicago Circuit Court Judge Amy Barrett, Coney Barrett, she takes the spotlight as her confirmation hearings to the Supreme Court begin. Yeah, with the Affordable Care Act and abortion rights on the docket for the high court this fall, the conservative, known for her strong religious beliefs, is facing headwinds from Democrats this morning. Joining us with a preview is Professor of Political Science and friend to us on Good Day Chicago from North Central College, Stephen Caliendo. Good morning to you, Professor. Good morning to you both. Thanks for having me. Always a pleasure to have you, sir. First, the obvious. She's going to get confirmed. We know this. Isn't the real question this morning whether this hearing is a repeat of what we saw with Brett Kavanaugh? Right. I mean, how contentious the hearing becomes is going to be important. Uh, there's some political implications, obviously, to this uh, to this nomination that we didn't have uh, in the Kavanaugh hearing, uh, both in terms of long term uh, for the court and also in the near term, including maybe the outcome of the uh, of the presidential election this year. Well, Coney Barrett, obviously known for her staunch, you know, religious beliefs. So the question I want to ask you is, are those beliefs fair game in these hearings? Religion ought not be fair game. And I think the Democrats are, are well advised to steer away from that. I think, um, you know, there the, the worldview questions, the questions about policy, uh, her record about policy, that's all fair game. Uh, determining what her judicial temperament will be and how she will apply the Constitution to cases that come before her. But I, I think it'll be, I'll be surprised if the Democrats start to wade in directly to uh, territory about their religion. Mm. Uh, I think Republicans, on the other hand, will probably accuse any questions about abortion uh, to be a surrogate for her religion. But of course, that's not the case. We have a, an ABC poll this morning that shows that 60% of Catholics uh, want Roe versus Wade to remain the law of the land, and so it's uh, it's much more complicated than I think it often comes uh, that often comes out in these hearings. Interesting, yeah. I had not heard that. Uh, nor did I. Let's talk about Kamala Harris. She's leaving the campaign trail to participate in these hearings, although she'll do it remotely. Is that wise in your mind, given that she and Joe Biden right now have a comfortable lead in most polls ahead of Trump and Pence? Well, I don't know. You mean that she's participating uh, virtually or that she's participating at all? I that think she's she participating at all. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she has to be careful not to say anything that's going to end up in a commercial <laughs> that's uh, designed to oppose uh, Joe Biden and, and her candidacies. That's for sure. On the other hand, uh, she has an opportunity to uh, to show the country uh, what kind of a senator she is and what kind of a senator she's been. And so she she's done that in previous hearings. Uh, certainly, it makes sense for her to stay virtually because uh, she needs to stay healthy, as all the senators ought to. Um, uh, so out of an abundance of caution, I think it makes sense that she's not there in person. OK, now her confirmation swings the court six to three in favor of conservatives. How likely is that situation going to play out this fall? Yeah, we, we've noticed that, that in the in the past when uh, hearings became contentious it was on, on when when it was a liberal justice leaving and a conservative uh, being nominated or the reverse that is when there's a, a significant shift that would happen on a nine person court uh, all of a sudden that you see the uh, the backs of the senators uh, get up a little bit and uh, it becomes a little bit more of a show uh, certainly this would solidify not necessarily a six to three conservative majority but certainly six uh, republican nominees to three democratic nominees uh, and after uh, losing somebody uh, that liberals love so much, like Ruth Bader Ginsburg, um, it's uh, it, it's going to be. There's no question that that's going to be in people's minds as we move forward in this process. A dapper clad Stephen Caliendo from North Central College, as always, <laughs> sir. Appreciate your time. It's great to see you both. Have a great day. All right, thank you.